I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I was watching a high low Lux video. If you do not know who she is, I highly recommend you go check out her channel. But I was watching uh, one of her videos and she did a, a product so nice I bought it twice type of video. But she was talking about clothing in that one. So I said why not do the same thing but talk about makeup. So you guys want to know what products were so nice that either I finished it, I lost it, I decluttered it and I regretted it. Or, um, I lost it, I finished it, I decluttered it, or I broke it. <laughs> There's one of those two. Uh, if you guys want to know what those products are that I bought them again, then let's go. Now the first one I mentioned I had to repurchase because I accidentally dropped it and it broke. That is the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation and to me, hands down the best foundation that they have put out. There's the powder foundation, tinted moisturizer, there's the hydrating, there's the original one, like more matte version. I like all of them except for the uh, hydrating one, but the powder foundation is the best one for me as far as coverage goes for it being a powder foundation. You can build it however you want to, how it looks on the face. The color match for me, I don't know if you guys have been around long enough to know this, but for me, how I use it, um, you know the technique of putting powder on your face before you put on uh, a foundation and concealer and stuff like that, like setting your primer. That's how I use the Fenty powder. So I don't actually technically use it as a powder. I do a little quick, you know, set of my powder. Actually, I was using it to set moisturizer, but you guys, there are past videos. Um, but that is how I use it. I don't really use that as a powder. But if you want to use it as an actual foundation on the face, it can do that as well. So definitely had to repurchase that after I broke it. Now the next one is also a foundation. This is one of those, it's so good, I'm going to have to continue to buy it. You know why I continue to buy it? Because it's only $10. Okay, that is the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. This is, hands down, my favorite foundation ever. Ever. And if you've been around for a minute, you know I have tried well over a hundred something foundations here on my channel. That is the best one to me. Um, I've mentioned before, I have combo oily skin for anyone that is new here. Even though, you know, it's got the born to glowness thing in it, it's still the best one for me. I just have to find, you know, like primers and uh, setting powder, stuff like that, like the rest of my complexion to make sure my oil stays good. But even then, like my oil, it relaxes. <laughs> it relaxes when uh, I use that foundation on my face. The color, I believe that foundation comes in 45. 45 shades, I believe. Um, like I said, drugstore, affordable, um, a little more accessible. So absolutely have to repurchase that. The next thing is one that I actually decluttered, but I kind of missed it so much that I had to repurchase it. Um, that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I actually only have concealer on today, and that is what it is. It is the NARS Radiant Creamy. There's just something about it on the face that just gives that, you know, a glow from within type of look right the 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 texture of this the formula how it wears on the face it's just the right um formula for me like i said i kind of like foundations that are more sheer medium type coverage and then concealers where i can do more medium full coverage that i can use a little less foundation on my face or days like today where i'm not wearing foundation at all i can just you know have a little more fun with concealer and that's what that one does for me, ever since I picked it back up, it's pretty much been the one that you see on my face all the time, so definitely had to get that again. This next one is so random, but I just realized the other day that I don't have it anymore and I don't know where it is. I don't remember, you know, I definitely didn't declutter it. Um, I know I moved here with it because I'm pretty sure I, I used it in videos after I moved. But this is one of those, I lost it, so I had to repurchase it. That's the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Setting Powder. Now the original translucent and the medium dark, I could take it, I could leave it. I don't have to use those. But after I started using honey, I was like, wait a minute, y'all did something. I think it's I think it's more so like the shade and what the shade does for my face because it's you know a more honey-ish type shade compared to the white translucent or the brown medium dark. Um I think it's how the shade looks on my face and the powder itself, you know, it's pretty it's an average average powder, you know. I don't think it does and it has any bells and whistles or anything like that, but like it's not bad either. So I'm pretty sure it's the shade for me, but the other day I was like, no, wait a minute, because I wanted to use it. 
where is it i cannot i cannot find it so i had to repurchase it because that's how much i like that powder specifically for that shade and i feel like if you've been here for a minute you know like i couldn't do a type of video like this and not include this product that is the milk hydro grip primer it's just a go-to primer however i will admit i have been using that elf power grip primer ever since i did the video on it you know by the end of the year I might not be able to say that sense that milk is just that go-to, but for right now, it still is. Um, so I have to repurchase that. Uh, I placed that with the order with the Laura Mercier powder. Um, I had to repurchase that one because it's just, it does what it has to do on my face. I like more gripping primers, tacky herb primers, because at least to me, I do feel like makeup sticks on your face more. It doesn't move anywhere. And I like that part because it plays well with other ones because you know, I've got like combo oily skin. Sometimes I want a primer that's going to do one thing on one section of my face and then another primer that's going to do one on, like, it doesn't peel up, it doesn't ball up, any of that, uh, the, the color, the finish that it leaves on my face doesn't change when I use it with other primers. So, um, that reason and how, like, my makeup actually looks and wears on top of Hydro Grip, Hydro Grip is why I just have to keep repurchasing that product. Another product I had to repurchase recently, I think that was like December, is the MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. Y'all know I love me a brown lip liner. Um, that one, the Sephora one in the shade Molasses. Yes, is that what that shade is called? Um, those two like go-to lip liners for me, but Chestnut, if you've been around in the makeup community, you know that's just an OG. Like you just have to have it in your collection, especially if you use someone like me as a shade reference and you like, you know, the brown lip liner type thing. Because I do like even darker lip liners, like think that dark brown from Nima's collaboration. Like I use that as a lip liner, right? So I like real bold brown lip liner, but I also like the little, just a little more subtle brown lip liner where I'm just trying to get a shade that might be a little too light for me to act right. That's what chestnut does. It's that type of brown shade. I have, I'm pretty sure I have a lip liner video showing the difference, but um, that one, I'm always gonna have to repurchase that lip liner because it's, it's necessary. And yeah, those were just some products that were so nice. I had to buy them twice, especially recently. Like I think all of those are like more recent products. Um, but I feel like, you know, if you've been watching for a minute, like that doesn't surprise you, you know, I ride for the products that I just mentioned. Let me know in the comments down below. What are some products that were so nice? You had to buy them twice. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, your notification bells, guess where? All of that down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.